do this in Greece, I'm not very strong. Okay, I will just say about it later because I have a, a short but a, a good study on that. Uh, or in the public sector, uh, they, they have spent uh, in the private, public, in the state sector and broad by public sector. In the private sector, we go from bad to worse, uh, from 1910, even before, until today. And the leadership of the official the union, the big ones, the General Confederation of Labor for the private sector, and the other three, which, uh, which is for the state and public sector, the leadership, if you believe, they are still controlled by PASO and Nea Democratia. Nevertheless, <coughs> despite how the unions do not have big percentages in the high uh, structures, in the lower structures we have percentages, we are growing, but as independently of that, in the formation of Syriza, the militant trade unionists play their important role. We had a very detailed program. It was voted in the founding conference. And another more, uh, I would say, up to date, which was uh, proclaimed uh, in uh, uh, no, uh, September, last September. And this was up to date in face of the elections, which we did not think would happen, but we were hoping, and it was possible that they would happen. So we do have a problem. A general one and a more precise one, recent. Uh, we are got in government for one, and one month now, and five days. We have had the terrible pressure from the European, uh, the Eurogroup and so on. So this is a very difficult factor to see how we can cope with money, because they want to take all the money from Greece, and they have also made some very provocative moves. And uh, so the only thing that has to be resolved, for a very short time, actually, for four months, they gave us four months, there was the problem of the relations with the Eurogroup in relation to, first of all, money, and secondly, the reforms. We are going to implement all the program, the basic things that I direct, and more, if and when we can do it, because we are very much pressed and we very much count on European solidarity and on changes in Europe. The first change we expect to happen is here in Spain. Government, we have 40 members of the ministry, of ministerial positions, 11 are ministers, and uh, 39 are sub ministers. The position of a minister was not given to any woman. In the sub ministers, we have six women, and that means 15% if we take it all together. This is the political will of the leadership of Syriza, and this is bad. We tried to protest about it. There were some protests inside Syriza, but much more outside of Syriza. They say, but now it's so important, we have so important things to do. Let's not criticize Syriza because this will weaken Syriza. But the policies of the women in favor of gender equality it's a parallel thing, it's not the same, like the question of the quarter. It's another dimension of it. Uh, equality of policies for gender equality, we are also very much behind. I was very happy when I saw that the 66 uh, feminist organizations from Spain wrote a letter to Tsipras to complain. If it was very good, Tsipras must know when the inner leadership must know that they are watched by Europe.
we are under the imperial boot. They want to smash us like the mines, unfortunately. And with the rest of our problem, which is not connected with money, or it's much less connected with money, we can uh, 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 apply. The humanitarian program, the program for the loans, for the houses, um, uh, for the work relations, and so on. We can proceed. We will have the theory of the peace. Uh, that uh, Portugal uh, is there. And uh, we think that uh, the policy of austerity, it is an end of neoliberalism, is not in the south of Europe only, it is in the whole Europe and it is in the greatest part of the world. So we want socialism, I'm speaking for myself, of course, but even, even if we have a capitalism that will be less aggressive, this is the direction we should follow. So, in some, yes, we are the guinea pigs, but uh, it is a general policy which has to be reversed. The crisis, of course, affects the middle and lower classes, and affects even more the lower parts of the lower classes, who are the women, and even more the migrants. Anyway, the women, first of all, we have 27% unemployment, of which is 30% women and 24% men. Uh, part of the social protection uh, is totally cut, and this means that the women were users of the baby stations, uh, schools, and things like that, they were users, but they were also in the majority workers there, and they have lost jobs. We have the violence against women, which is very strong, uh, and uh, we say that it increases under the crisis, I'm not so sure. I'm very sure, though, that the possibility of a woman to get away from a violent relationship is very much smaller today than it was in the past. 